development of mano kwa duar kozo kamano magonya wawa angoha let me now call to explain to you the legal measures we are going to take the honorable peter upondo kaluma mp homa bay Your Excellency Raila Molo Dinga and being short on protocol because of time. We normally meet in Bondo in good times. But today we are meeting in Bondo in very bad times to mourn our people who have been killed by the police. Yodala wa Lingura do wa chogimoka kike sungu daki kareyo then I just leave. Chika uono wa kecho, wa mor. I have a message to Baba and uh, our leadership in Azimio. When Amin Dada became president, taking over from Obote by force, the first statement he made in the streets of Kampala was that all the specialized police agencies were killing Ugandans and they had to be disbanded and he proceeded to disband them. I want you to review back and watch what happened. What happened is that a week after that, a shadowy gang of killers was created under Maliamungu and they went killing Ugandans for a whole, a whole decade in Uganda. When this regime came in, you were told that the specialized police units, the specialized police units, and we had very good ones under President Uhuru Kenyatta. You remember our units who cleared the terrorists in the city in no minute. You remember the, 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 the police squad which killed, uh, the, the, cleared the terrorists in Teresa, uh, Garissa. And of course the others guarding our borders. They were called people who had been killing Kenyans extrajudicially and they were disbanded. But Baba, I tell you, we met the new Inspector General, not Inspector, DCI, Director Min, and he told us they just wanted to remove those specialized officers. Those people were immediately replaced by a gang, a gang called Operation Support Unit something. This is a killer gang which is not protecting the Kenyan citizens as other police were doing, but is killing them. It is this gang moving around in civilian clothes. It is the gang moving around in vehicles without registered number plates. It is the gang doing all these crazy things we are doing. As we fight for justice for our people, we must begin the struggle to disband that unit. Otherwise, you are going to preside over the killing of very many Kenyans. Jodala wawacho koso kawacho. In Siaya, particularly in Bondo here, the killing of the demonstrators was led by the deputy OCS. And this is something only myself can say. And he's the one who was in charge of this operation killing our people around Jodala Wawacho Kosariambo. I need to tell you this. Because we are not in good times. We will say it to date. In Kisumu, when they were not able to kill the largest number of Luos they had predicted, they brought the killer gang from Nairobi. And we went to the hospital at Jaramogi Ogingo Dinja Teaching and Referral Hospital. Your Excellencies, there are people still suffering bullet wounds and struggling for their lives there, with bullets lodged in very delicate parts of their body. What I noted in Kisumu is that our people were being aimed at, at three parts. The head, the left side of the chest, meaning the heart, and the genitals. So the statement was clear. It is either you had to die, or if you, you, are, you survived, you had to be sterilized, castrated. You can never be a human being, and you cannot sire a child again in life. And that is why we, are, we, we said in Parliament that this was planned genocide. This was planned genocide. And, and so there are measures that we are going to take. As I end, I had uh, President Ruto indicate, in fact, congratulate the police. And I want to tell the President, 
you want to tell Ruto today that we are very happy. May the cries of these widows, may the cries of these orphans today confirm to you and the dead bodies in those coffins that the police did the good job you are doing. As Luos we remain in Kenya because Baba has taught us to be Kenyans and never to leave Kenya. Because we are not invitees into Kenya and we are not leaving Kenya. Kenya. But we need to tell Baba. Ni Baba Jawagi Wachoni Gichakul. Gichakul gi Kenya. Gichakul gi Kenya. Yodalawa wool koso kuul. At Yekokawa Achoni I had the CS for interior. My former good friend Kindiki. Ask where our people are. Wamepotea kwa nyazigani. <laughs> Brother Kindiki, our people are in those coffins. But the ones who are not killed under your command, and lawful command, are waiting for the day Baba will call them to protest for rights. Because that is a constitutional right. So here they are. To a guy called Kome, Amolo let us agree. As leaders, we cannot be crying with the people as if we don't have solutions. The Constitution allows for the bringing of a petition to remove an inspector general of police, police who is rogue. And so we want the permission of these people who have lost, you know, dear relatives today. Sons and daughters, husbands and, and, and parents, that we go and petition in your name the removal of a rogue called Inspector General Koome somebody. And immediately that can be happen. Can happen. Amolo, Adwa Kwayo ni Gimane Wawacho ni Terekot. Gima Marjo Lua has been made the biggest pot. The biggest pot. And Gini Nobedo planned. We will say much later. But Wakauru case Magjogi. And led by the senior councils we have. Let us take a case in court that can bring value to these families whose uh, loved ones have been killed by the police in this brutal. Yodalawa uye. Eroru kamanai. Erokamanu pondo kaluma. Let me now invite my brother, the Honorable Timothy Wanyonyi Wesla 